competition for the player. Working all day long, this repetition got my weight up. Pumping like a piss, and I can hear him yelling, wait up. Whole world I've been lifting, plot is thickening, nigga, stay up. Don't know what it cost me. Now I'm chilling in the penthouse, living lofty. Pray before you cross me. Shut up while I'm talking. While I run, I'm stocks. You all on my ID stocking. Man, get out my. And now that the case is back in my hands, why don't I show you guys what this entire video is all about? <laughs> Whoa. This is the Jiyun Cinepeer Weeble 3E. And this little guy packs one hell of a punch. Gimbals are the tool when it comes to getting smooth and stable footage, and they've been around for a long time, so they're nothing new. So rather than trying to reinvent the wheel, Jiyun sent me this gimbal, the Cinepeer Weeble 3E, just to make the wheel a little bit better and to get it into the hands of more creatives. The, the wheel is, is the gimbal, in case you, you, you got it, you got it. This is the Cinepeer Weeble 3E, a budget-friendly, affordable gimbal that's actually really good and is a way for more people to get their hands on a device that will help them create cinematic content. The Cinepeer line is Jiyun's way of getting more equipment into people's hands by making it more affordable. This gimbal here is only $250. And for such a low price, my first thought was, okay, what's the catch? This tiny gimbal is basically Thor's hammer because it can handle my S5 II setup no problem. Plus on top of that, it has 16 hours of battery life and I personally think it's really impressive when small things can last a really long time. The Cinepeer Weeble 3E looks almost identical to its predecessor, the Weeble 3S, while slimming down certain things and ditching some features that the 3S had, but still maintaining key features like strong motors, Bluetooth control, and ease of use. The size of this gimbal means it's very easy to create for a long period of time. The cinematic intro that I made was filmed over a few hours and honestly, I didn't get tired. Not to mention this thing is just shy of a kilo and it's no bigger than a piece of A4 paper. These two things combined made it really easy to go all day long. What else made it really easy to use the Cinepeer 3E was the fact that it has the Sling Grip 2.0. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. When I first heard about this, I wasn't like, I didn't think it was all that. I kind of thought maybe it's just a gimmick, another way to have a second handle, but I was wrong. <laughs> I have to admit now, after using it a lot, I am fully supportive of the Sling Grip 2.0. Before I used to just think having sore wrists was a consequence of getting nice smooth shots with your gimbal. But Gian said, no, 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 no. It doesn't have to be this way. And yeah, they're right. My wrist genuinely feels supported. And the fact that you can adjust the angle or the height at which the support rests, it means that you can change how much support or how little support you have on your wrist or like wherever you place your hand on the gimbal, you know, you can adjust it to where you need to be. Pairing that with the second handle that you can change the position of so easily just by twisting a little knob and then moving it. You can have different sort of setups in a, 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 a press of a shutter button. <laughs> That's so lame, but hey, filmmaking terms, right? I really liked this because I kept going back and forth between like having the underslung grip and having the dual handle be behind the gimbal's handle. And then I would move it a bit out 45 degrees. So it's kind of that dual handle setup, but like still not like totally out. And then if I wanted to, I could have the, the two like this and I could, you know, as filmmakers, we want options and this gives us options at an affordable price. One thing to note is the sling grip is an optional extra. You can get this in like the different kits, which will be listed in the description below. The base kit is $250 for just the gimbal. If you want the sling grip, that's an extra cost. I don't have the numbers on top of my head, but they'll be on the screen or in the description. Jiyun's professional stabilization algorithms are actually very good. And I feel like that's no surprise. We've known this from their past gimbals. I mean, I still have the Crane 3S and I loved and still love that gimbal. I just, I don't use it for my S5 because I don't need to. But their new gimbals, new algorithms, I'm, 
I'm blown away. I'm, I'm really impressed. Like I, out of the box, I don't even think I calibrated it, but you should always calibrate your payload on your gimbals. But out of the box, it worked great. And going through different modes and testing out the pan follow, the pan tilt follow, POV mode, the vortex mode, they all worked really, really well and as expected and produced smooth footage as you guys have been watching. And I always preach to do the ninja walk, walking heel to toe, heel to toe, whenever you're doing gimbal shots. But with the Cinepure 3E, it does a really good job. I didn't have to think about doing the ninja walk so much. I still recommend you do it, but hey, Gian's got some great algorithms and I do appreciate that with each new gimbal and each firmware update, they're continuously looking at ways to make it better. Portrait video is pretty standard now for a lot of businesses who like to focus on social media type content. And whilst I love that my S5 Mark II from Livingston film in open gate, meaning I have more height in my shot so I can crop easier for social media. It's great that Gideon thought ahead and made it really easy to quickly switch from landscape to portrait just like this. Damn, if only there was a way for me to quickly switch from horizontal to portrait so I can shoot some vertical content. Oh my god, what? Thanks Gideon. So this isn't a review. This video isn't sponsored, but it still isn't a full review because I want to give you guys a rundown and if I do like it, there's not really much for me to say about disliking it. I feel for the price point, it's really, really great. There's a few things you're sacrificing, for example, compared to the competitors, like having a nice OLED touchscreen or having extremely well tactile buttons. I feel like the record button could be a little bit better, but it's been reliable whenever I used it. But when I bear in mind the price, the short answer is yes. I really do like this gimbal. It works really well, it's strong, and it lets me shoot all day without having to worry about compromises like, oh, it can't hold my camera, or I can't use this lens or that lens. And I appreciate that it kept important things like having Bluetooth control or USB-C control and having a function trigger so that you can do different things and you can customize all those things on the gimbal itself. So who is this for? Well, the Cinepeer line is made to be an affordable lineup to get in the hands of more creatives. So obviously it's for those people who are getting into filmmaking, getting into content creation and want to be able to create more, but maybe don't have the budget for the $2,000 gimbals or the three, four, five thousand dollar $5,000 cameras. They've got a few hundred dollars, but they want to create something more cinematic. This gimbal is for you. This is an amazingly affordable gimbal that's actually very, very good. And I wouldn't just say it's for beginners. I feel like seasoned content creators and filmmakers can still create amazing stuff with this. As you guys have been watching, everything shot in this video that is like stabilized was shot on the Cinepeer Weeble 3E. I also believe that travel content creators will love this gimbal because it is the size of a piece of paper. But even for its small size, it's still able to support a wide range of cameras. Now, if you do want to buy this gimbal, there are some affiliate links in the description below that will adjust to your country so you can buy it wherever you are in the world. And of course, this means I get a bit of a kickback if you guys do choose to buy it. So thank you very much if you do. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys are curious about my thoughts on some new drones that have come out recently, check out this video over here.